Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. And I am just uh, truly very humbled to be here uh, with a beautiful and incredible uh, community of leaders. And I'm eager to he hear each one of them speak and, uh, and uh, tell us more. And I'm also very eager for us to have a large number of people began to wear yellow and see yellow and have hope and really began to make change in a big and a significant way uh, in a place where we desperately need the change in order to truly bring peace. Um, like others, I have uh, had many, many trips to the region uh, over the last 20 years. And uh, when I first began to travel as a, as a young bishop uh, with uh, groups from Montana and Wyoming and uh, Colorado and uh, Utah, uh, one of our pastors in uh, Montana was so aware and committed to the Palestinian cause that he began to educate me and the others that would go on our trips uh, back then. So that was uh, the beginning of some of my learning. And then when I moved to Southern California in 2000, uh, became a part of the Council of Religious Leaders um, in California, and our region now is Southern California and Hawaii and Guam and Saipan. But uh, with the Council of Religious Leaders, I began to have trips that were led by the rabbis. So uh, they were inclusive trips. We would be rabbi, we would be a Jewish, Christian, and Muslim, uh, and sometimes uh, we would be um, uh, conservative, orthodox, and uh, reformed Jewish community, and then Reconstructionist Jewish leaders as well on our trips uh, when we would go. But there would be a particular perspective and a particular effort that would uh, be a part of the trip when we would go. So uh, this past November at our Council of Bishops uh, uh, meeting in November, uh, we received a, a beautiful packet from uh, the Kairos response, the United Methodist Kairos response. And I held that packet close to my heart and read it and studied it before I went in in November with an ecumenical group of women bishops. And it was really important for me to be a part of that ecumenical group. We were AME, AME Zion, CME, United Methodist, and Episcopalian uh, as the group of women bishops that went. We also wanted a, a Lutheran woman bishop to go with us, but she was not able to. Uh, so when, uh, when we made this visit in November, it was truly an eye-opener of uh, the things that are happening now and the depth of the need. And really, when I had gone with the rabbis um, in earlier trips, they had actually shown me settlements, talked about how wrong it was, and it needed to change. But they were clear in trying to say, don't divest, invest in making peace in the Holy Land. So I had, I had been in that place. But in this uh, last trip and the time that we were there in November and the places that we visited and the stories that we heard and the experiences that we shared with so many who were there, uh, I realized what had not changed and what was getting worse and the severity of how it was getting worse. So I was more committed than ever to come home and be a part of the Kairos movement and to uh, add my support to our really divesting from Caterpillar and Hewlett Packard and Motorola when we come back. So when I return to California, we have an active Holy Land Task Force group in our, in our region and we have active uh, people that are involved in the Kairos response in our region. So I began to meet with some of them and with them, uh, they uh, talked it all through with me and then we went on a website. Well, once I was on the website uh, talking about my uh, support for this cause, I began to get the pushback. And the pushback came very strong, uh, telling me, how could you have changed your mind? And I said, well, I went to Hebron and I saw people that <laughs> had to uh, climb down the back alley and carry their babies through a back window to get into their homes. Uh, <laughs> and I saw 1,500 soldiers protecting a few people in a settlement. I had to stop this, you know, and I saw the homes that were being demolished by Caterpillar now, and we have to stop that. And I saw how what we had been trying to do wasn't enough, and we needed to do more, and we had to stand up and do more in order to make the changes. So uh, I've continued uh, to uh, speak in favor of what, uh, what this is all about and to try to truly support this. And uh, I am grateful to the many of you that have called me and left messages in my office of your support and gratitude. And I will be with you in this movement for as long as it